There are various rating systems within LEED for different building typologies. There are five families of LEED rating systems. LEED for BD plus C that is LEED for building design construction. LEED for ID plus C that is LEED for interior design construction. LEED for O plus M that is LEED for operation maintenance. LEED for ND that is LEED for neighborhood development and LEED for homes. LEED for building design and construction is applicable for new construction and major renovation of buildings. Now, how to differentiate between minor and major renovations? If the renovation includes building envelope changes or HVAC system changes or major interior changes, it is considered to be a major renovation. So if any one of these three happens, it is considered to be a major renovation. Building envelope is basically the shell of the building which separates interior and exterior of the building or it separates the conditioned and non-conditioned area of the building. Changes in building envelope and changes in heating, ventilation and air conditioning system significantly impacts the energy consumption of the building. Hence, they are considered to be major renovation. Lead for interior design and construction is applicable for projects where the project scope is limited to interior fit out only. The project will not have any scope on the structure and shell of the building. For example, a retail outlet in a shopping mall is applicable for lead for interior design and construction. Lead for operation maintenance is applicable for existing buildings or projects which would like to demonstrate their sustainable operation maintenance practices. Projects applying for operation maintenance may undergo improvements or upgrades. Lead for neighborhood development is applicable for land development projects and mixed use developments. Beijing Olympic Village is an example for neighborhood development. Lead for homes is applicable for residential projects up to 8 habitable stories. Each family of the rating system is then adopted to meet different project typologies. Lead for building design and construction family of rating system has 8 adoptions. Lead for BD plus C new construction, lead for BD plus C coherential, lead for BD plus C schools, lead for BD plus C retail, lead for BD plus C healthcare, lead for BD plus C data centers, lead for BD plus C hospitality, and lead for BD plus C warehouses and distribution centers. Lead for BD plus C coherential is applicable for projects where the project scope is restricted to core and shell of the building. Core refers to the structure and shell refers to the building envelope. Interior fit out work of these projects will be done by tenants. Shopping malls are good examples for coherential building. In shopping malls, the owner's scope is limited to the structure, building envelope and common areas. All interior fit out work are done by the tenants. As the name itself implies, lead for BD plus e schools is applicable for schools. It is specifically developed for academic buildings of kindergarten to grade 12 schools. Non-academic buildings of schools, post-secondary and pre-kindergarten buildings of schools may qualify for both lead for building design construction, schools and new construction. Lead for building design construction data centers is applicable for buildings specifically designed for high density computing equipment such as data storage and processing. Lead for building design and construction retail is applicable for retail buildings such as banks, restaurants, apparel, electronics, big box, etc. Lead for building design and construction warehouse and distribution centers is applicable for buildings used to store goods, manufactured products, merchandise, raw materials, etc. Lead for building design and construction hospitality is applicable for buildings such as hotels, motels, inns, which provide transitional or short-term lodging with or without food. Lead for building design and construction, healthcare is applicable for inpatient and outpatient healthcare facilities, licensed long-term healthcare facilities, medical offices, assisted living facilities, and medical education research centers. Lead for building design and construction, new construction is applicable for office buildings, library, museum, church, and high-rise residential buildings. High-rise residential buildings or residential buildings with nine or more habitable stories. In theory, 
lead for building design and construction new construction is applicable for all new construction and major renovation of buildings excluding quarantial buildings school buildings healthcare facilities retail buildings hospitality projects data centers warehouses and distribution centers lead for homes family of rating system have two odd options lead for homes homes and multifamily low rise and lead for homes multifamily mid rise lead for homes homes and multifamily low rise rating system is applicable for single family housing that is standalone villas and low rise multifamily housing that is residential apartments up to 3 habitable stories lead for homes multifamily mid rise rating system is applicable for mid rise residential apartments that is with 4 to 8 habitable stories lead for interior design and construction family of rating system has three odd options namely lead for interior design and construction commercial interiors lead for interior design construction retail and lead for interior design construction hospitality lead for interior design construction retail is applicable for retail interior projects like banks restaurants apparels electronics and big box lead for interior design and construction hospitality is applicable for interior projects dedicated to hospitality like hotels motels inns or other business areas that provide transitional or short term lodging with or without food lead for interior design construction commercial interiors is applicable for all interior projects excluding retail and hospitality lead for operation and maintenance family of rating system has six adoptions lead for operation maintenance data centers lead for operation maintenance warehouse and distribution centers lead for operation maintenance hospitality buildings lead for operation maintenance schools lead for operation maintenance retail and lead for operation maintenance existing buildings to be certified under lead for operation maintenance the building may or may not be previously certified as new building for example for a school to be certified under lead for operation maintenance schools it is not necessary that it was previously certified under lead for building design and construction schools anyhow if the school was previously certified as a new building lead for operation maintenance becomes much easier lead for neighborhood development family of rating system has two adoptions namely lead for neighborhood development plan and lead for neighborhood development build project lead for neighborhood development plan is applicable for township projects in concept design or master planning or under construction lead for neighborhood development build project is applicable for completed development projects this table summarizes all 21 lead rating system adoptions for different project typologies selecting an appropriate rating system for a project most buildings will fit into a particular rating system for example a new school can apply for lead for building design and construction school a new shopping complex may apply for lead for building design and construction commercial an existing data center may apply for lead for operation maintenance data centers a retail outlet in a shopping complex may apply for lead for interior design and construction retail so many projects can fit into a particular rating system easily in some projects especially in mixed use facilities there may be a confusion in selecting a rating system lead provides guidelines for selecting a rating system in case of confusion apply 60 40 rule that is Select a rating system which is applicable for at least 60% of the floor area and not to select a rating system which is applicable for less than 40% of the floor area. What happens if the applicable floor area is between 40 to 60%? In this case, project team will decide on the best applicable rating system.